little cold. It was almost 70 yesterday, and as they say, if you wait 15 minutes, the weather will change here in the south, which it has. And now it's like barely 50 degrees. It was in Galveston, the wind was really ripping down there, but we're in downtown Houston area now, and it's, it's a lot calmer, except for the construction they're doing here. So we'll wait for a few people to come. And we are at an epic, one of my top five cemeteries, in my opinion, in the country, or that I've seen. I've been to over a thousand cemeteries. This is one of my top five. Tree Annie, hola. Tree Annie, where are you from? Hola, you must be from either Mexico or South America, or who knows? Hey, Doris, how are you? Good to see you. Dodie, Sherry, Greg, Nancy's here. Brian, Linda, Trisha. And here they come. The gang is rolling in. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. We should have a good picture today. As promised, Saturday midday, we are gonna do a little walk here in Houston at probably one of the, the most amazing cemeteries I've been to. Hey Flo, how's it going? Good to see you here. Good morning from Kerrville, Lisa Kuhn. Hey, do you know what? I was gonna stay overnight in Kerrville I was in West Texas and coming back to San Antonio, I was gonna spend the night in Kerrville, but I ended up staying in San Antonio. So I thought that was interesting, Kerrville, yeah. I know Kerrville, went through around there, pretty cool. Hello from New Orleans, Keith Hoffman. Yeah, I'm coming there, I'm on my way. Next week I will be in New Orleans. Hello, Letha, Mara. Very cool morning in the desert. Were you in? Uh, Arizona, New Mexico. We got Elizabeth from Northern Virginia. It's great to see you guys. We've got over 100 people, so we're gonna get this walk going. Did you guys see my, uh, thanks Char for the buck. Did you guys see my live stream? Well, it wasn't a live stream, it was that thing on the, uh, wasn't that really just shameful? The Senator, no, the Senator, US House of Representatives, Hawley, and then his, his it's probably his skull because the vault above was his wife, and then below is the vault where he was, and that's all bashed apart, and there's the skull on the floor. So, uh, really can't believe that. So let's take a walk here and show you some really cool, really, really cool stuff here. Walter from Dallas. Dallas, Georgia? I didn't know there was a Dallas, Georgia. Alexander, what's going on? How am I doing? I'm doing good. How's Michigan? Are you still in the snow? Yeah, Flo, that was crazy seeing the skull, wasn't it? I didn't really see it until after I looked at the footage. Then I go, I got to go back and get more of a close-up on that. Here's a little boy, a real interesting little statue here for John Foley, who died in 1909. He was four years old. Isn't that a beautiful statue? Hello, Northwest Atlanta Metro. It's a neat statue. Well, we're, you're gonna see some amazing stuff here, let me tell you. Hey, hey from Knoxville. Now, this is where I shot Howard Hughes and Gene Tierney, I already shot those episodes, so I'm not gonna hit those areas too hard because you're gonna wanna, we're gonna like tease you and we're gonna save that until you see the episodes, which are probably still almost a month away, just the way things are in line. Wesley from Central Illinois, what's going on? It's so cool how people are just like from all over the place. We got Alabama here, Wooly Girl. Are you in wool? You keeping warm with the wool? This is Cradle Grave Central. This um, it's, well, a lot of them here. San Antonio, we saw a lot, didn't we? But no flowers. I mean, that's for flowers. That's for a flower bed. I'm supposed to plant flowers in there. There are some amazing trees. Look at that. This must have gotten. Something happened to that tree. I don't think they're magnolias though. Are these magnolia trees, guys? I know in Atlanta and 
down in the South Carolina, I saw a lot of cool magnolia trees. I think it was magnolia trees, right? Is that what's down there? Let's see. Some cool statues. Let's look for statues. There's a lot of statues today. They have gray trunks, the magnolias? Okay. Carolyn from Holland. Joan Goulet from where in Canada? Thanks for the 10 bucks. Guteau? What, what province is that? Is that in Saskatchewan? Oaks and, oh, these are oaks? Okay. Well, there's some amazing oaks and the oaks here don't grow like the oaks by us in Illinois. They grow low and flat here and they reach out. There's a beautiful angel. Quebec, okay. Probably cold up there. Roxanne's near Rice Lake. Is that Rice Lake, Wisconsin? There's a cool statue. Look at that. Who's he? Let's see if we can get a zoom in on him. That's Quinlan. Mr. Quinlan. Look at the beautiful blue sky we got. It was all, yeah, pink and white. Wait, is magnolias trees or flowers? Actually, magnolias flowers. Or no, is it a tree? I can't even remember. Tell me, what is a magnolia? Is a magnolia a tree or is it a bush? Yeah, I went through Rice Lake. Rice Lake is in northwest, north central Wisconsin. When I go to Minneapolis, I go through that area coming from Manaqua. Yeah, it's a flowering tree. Okay, thank you. Hello, Deanne from Florida. Can we look at this one? Yeah, I know. Those blooms are unbelievable. In spring, when the Augusta, the masters, you see the magnolias in full force. John B. House passed in 1905. A lot of old graves here. A lot of money here, guys, in the cemetery. We're at Glenwood. This is the epic Houston Cemetery. I'm sure those of you from around here know about Glenwood. This place is crazy. Now, I'm not gonna hit a lot of the best parts here because I shot Howard Hughes and you're gonna see it in 4K. You're just gonna have to wait because this little cell phone is not gonna do justice for this cemetery because what I'm talking about are the best spots, which if you get beyond that, it's ridiculous. The There's a Michael the Archangel that has the most scary face or he's really angry, and I got a close-up of him in 4K, you're gonna see on the Howard Hughes episode. Really freaky. Yeah, I love those magnolias are, are unbelievable, they're beautiful. You know, I wanna find the grave of three or four little children that I did in the post. Ah, actually, it's already a video on the post, so I'll probably skip that. But let's look for some new stuff. See, now, this is what I'm talking about. You're talking about oak trees. Look how this thing is low. It reminds me of Georgia. Savannah. I did that episode in Savannah. And then South Carolina was at Magnolia Cemetery. Oh, man. The H.L. Hunley story. The submarine, the lost submarine. Go check that out. Greenwood, where's Greenwood? Greenwood Cemetery. So, hey, tell me, what's your favorite cemetery? What's your top cemetery that you've ever been to? And I will tell you what, uh, in my mind, my top, I can try and figure, I'll tell you my top five. I'll tell you my top five cemeteries. But what's your favorite cemetery? I wish you could have come by Austin, Tree Annie. I already did Austin last year. I did. American Sniper, I did some other stuff. I did the drone, I, I already did Austin. Not that I can't come back, but just search my channel. Laurel Hill in Philly. Yeah, that's the epic, Ashley. You guys have, you guys have been telling me about Laurel Hill. That's the top on the top of my list. Now I can't put that on my list yet because 
I can't put that because I haven't been there. Yeah, someday I'll come to Seattle, haven't been there. So Bohemian National, Tony says, you, will you believe that's not on my top five? And now what I'm talking about is, yeah, I love walking Bohemian National, but when I'm talking about top five, I'm talking about like just epic statuary art. You know, the stuff like you will see here in my episode on Howard Hughes and Gene Tierney, especially it's really the Howard Hughes one is where I've got, I've got the thick, I got in the thick of the best part of the cemetery. Arlington National, yeah, that is on my list. I've been there. I've, I, it was before I shot the, uh, you know, started this channel. So I, I'm going to put this this Glen uh, this Glenwood on my list of top five. The other ones I have, the other ones I'm sure if you're in Europe you're going to say Highgate, right? Flo, fifty dollars. Flo wants to say, oh, your favorite cemetery is anywhere I go. That's very cool. Thank you. I try to go to cool places for you guys with some scenery like this. Yes, that does, Tamara, this does count as exercise. As long as you're lifting your cup of coffee you, and use both arms, just alternate. You get some good exercise. Come on, give me some cemeteries. Lawrence, Kansas has so much history. Yeah, I've done a lot of episodes there, a lot, because my son went there. Check the channel. I probably have 10 episodes in Lawrence, out of the cemetery in Lawrence. I forget what it's called. Oak Hill, I think. And then on the Paranormal Channel, we did a big episode on the Eldridge family and the Eldridge Hotel. That was fun. Savannah is on your bucket list. Oh, Bella Fontaine, you called it. Doris, that is like number two on my list. It's in my top five. You, you, you got me there. Bella Fontaine. I did Dr. McDowell there, the guy who was the body snatcher during the Civil War. Crazy haired doctor, Dr. McDowell. He's at Bella Fontaine along with a lot of other famous people. What else, guys? What other? Crown Hill, I have not been there and I've not been to Downhill either. <laughs> Rock Chalk, Jayhawk, Rattlesnake. That's right, buddy. KU. KU's not doing so good this year in basketball. Pretty disappointed. All right, let me just think. So, Bella Fontaine. Bella Fontaine, what else is on my list? I've, I was thinking last night of five. So this Bella Fontaine, oh, the one in Boston. Guys, what's the one in Boston that we did? Skull Hill, I love that. There's one I did in Boston, I think it's, oh, and then in Cleveland, Lakeside, Lakewood. What's the one in Cleveland, guys, Lakeside? Oh, there's a Lakeside in Denver too. Yeah, I saw Bonnie and Clyde, I went to their graves. Not for my channel though. Because it's, you know, my old saying, it's been done on YouTube over and over and over to nauseam. That's my, my statement. I'm not doing Bonnie and Clyde on this channel, no. But I did visit their graves just to do it, just to say I was there. Yeah, I know. I'm right by Crown Hill in Indiana where Dillinger is. I've got to go there. Look at this family plot. How about this, guys? Where are you? Blanca. You gotta get here on time. I'm at Glenwood in Houston, Texas. And we have a fine chilly day here. Noonan, Georgia. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. That's a new one. Let's see, where should I go from here? There's just so, ooh, look at that. There's like a fireman or something over there. The Dalton Gang. Yeah, my friend Reddy for History did the Daltons. I don't want to copy him. What can I add? I can't, I can't really add much to the Dalton story. Vero Vero, what's going on? How are you? Guys, I hope the picture's good because, you know, I'm going to skedaddle to better, you know, we're, we're just going to build up here on this walk. It's going to get better and better. Are you coming to Louisiana from Mardi Gras? From Mardi Gras? How about for Mardi Gras? I am gonna be there next week. 
but I've got a bunch of stories. I don't know how much partying I'm going to be doing on Bourbon Street, but I might hit Bourbon Street one night. I think Mardi Gras is a Tuesday after this next coming Tuesday, right? But I guess it's Mardi Gras every day. You guys tell me. Boy, oh boy, you just, this is like, okay, Phil Cemetery, I liked, I wouldn't put that on my top five in the country though. That's the cemetery of copper statues, I call it. But it's very nice. I did, uh, what was her name? The punk rock singer there, Mia Zapata. I did an episode on Mia Zapata at Cave Hill. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what other epics. So Bellefontaine, Lakeside in Cleveland, the one in Boston, which I can't remember. So that's three. There are a couple of more. I didn't find anything in California or out west that I thought was, you know, it's more out east, Midwest or south. In Connecticut, yeah, New England. I'm trying to think in New England if I, you know, the one I did on I, I just a really cool cemetery is the, yeah, Muhammad Ali's, a, he's there with Colonel Sanders, another one. No, <laughs> Stuff that I, that's stuff I will just not there. You will not see that on this channel, that kind of stuff. I'm not really into famous people. I'm more into intriguing stories. I did a few famous people, but not a ton. Oak Ridge Cemetery in Madison, Florida. I don't think I've been there. Evergreen Cemetery in Los Angeles. I don't think I've been there. Gosh, I got to think of my other two. I told you three of them. This is now one of them. This just like moved into the, my top five. Westwood Cemetery Park in Los Angeles. Yeah, Bachelor's Grove, right. That's a dump. Bachelor's Grove, I did an episode. That is just a playground for paranormal people and which aren't bad but it's a playground also for Satan worshipers and vandals and malcontents. Just a horror. Oh, Wooly Girl, Metairie. That was the other one I was trying to remember, Metairie. Yes, that's in my top five. Metairie. What is my hometown right now? Chicago, but I'm moving to Phoenix. Carefree. Carefree Cave Creek, that whole area there. Now, you wanna see a cool old building? The office here, the office, the Greenbrier Ghost. Yeah, I have that on my list. I think it was Trisha that suggested that a long time ago. I do have the Greenbrier Ghost on my list. Cheryl D is here. What's going on, Cheryl? Cheryl's given me some great stories, by the way. Those Wild West stories. Let's go check out the office, which I think is closed. But I did not look, I did not show much of this on my Howard Hughes episode. We will get KFC in heaven. I think you're right. And you get to meet the Colonel. It's part of the deal. Do you guys like history? Anybody? Oh man, look who's here with the five. Just wondering, Ron, what's your thoughts on the passing of Lisa Marie Presley? Yeah, very sad news. It's kind of the end of an era. She was very talented too. Was it drugs? I mean, what? she was young. Love your stories that on Doc Holiday. Very interesting. Now I have a part four that I'm going to be doing. There is a part four. Look at the stained glass, guys. Or is that painted glass? Maybe that's painted. No, that's, that's colored glass. Oh gosh, it's so sad. Opiates, huh? It's so sad, it's such a waste. Stull Cemetery. So I know Blazing Stars naming all the crazy cemeteries. Did you like my Stull episode? That was, that was evil. That was so evil. That place is creepy, Stull. I gotta tell you. What's this thing, guys? It's like a, uh, is that a bird feeder? Or is this a bird nest? What is this? What's going on here? 
What is the, no, my gimbal's like sp spinning around. Hello from Denmark, what's going on? What time's it in Denmark? It's gotta be like 6 p.m., right? It would be interesting to see a cemetery that was once part of a plantation. Yeah, I agree, that's a good idea. Hello, Isabel from France. It's a planter for flowers, probably for like magnolias. Cigarette buds. Look at these things. Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincy. Is that an epic cemetery? I haven't heard of that one. I've been to Dayton. Oh, that's another one I'm gonna put on my list. Well, it's almost on my list. Calvary in Dayton, Ohio. That's why I did the story on, have you guys seen the story of Anna Hochwald? Hochwald. Yes, I pronounced it right. It's German, I'm German. Anna Hochwald at Calvary Cemetery in, in uh, Dayton, Ohio. That's these hills. Some of the people were almost buried vertical. Really cool place. I did some really good. I did two episodes there. Look up Calvary Cemetery, Dayton, Faces the Forgotten. Gene is half German. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Hello from Germany, Ramona, where are you at? I was born in Wiesbaden, you know. Grew up in my first two years in Munich. Frank oh, actually Frankfurt. Love your stories, thank you. Ah, Lakota's gonna go there today. Yeah, Calvary is pretty epic. Especially when you get, well, the whole place is pretty epic. All right, let's see here. You guys ever hear of Gene Tierney? Jay Morgan, $10, thank you. Thank you for all your videos. Yeah, I've got over 500 now, I think. I was looking at that the other day, I was like, holy cow. I've been cranking. You like the Doc Holiday? Thank you, Emily, for the five bucks, Frank Hayes. Frank Hayes, who died? No, I don't have him on my list. I'll have to keep him in mind. Did I have a German accent? No, I came to America when I was like three. Gene Tierney is buried straight ahead in this family plot called Lee. And I'm not gonna go over there because it's in my Gene Tierney episode. And I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. Now the best part of the cemetery, guys, the best part of the cemetery is like right here. All of this here, um, let's see, let me adjust this a little, there. And, and I will take you, I'll, I'll take you like back there a little bit. It's probably one of the coolest three or four sections that I have ever seen. But I'm, again, I'm trying to focus on the areas that I did not catch during my, you'll see it in 4K. This is downtown Houston in the background. Any trains? There are trains I don't hear any yet. Kimberly, maybe you're gonna give us good luck. Now I did not check this out. I was very curious when I came, they were doing a lot of uh, cleanup here. So I do wanna, I'm gonna have a peek with you guys. I cannot speak any German. And, oh, Roxanne, do you, you have the Hader Oder, Wisconsin, you betcha. That's more of like a Minnesota, isn't it? Or is that Wisconsin too? I can't even remember. Look how beautiful this is. Is this a beautiful walk? Look at this work. Can you guys see the, the bronze? This is all bronze. And you talk about, let's see if we can, see what the deal is yeah we'll close that back up now a lot of the cemetery here has these brick these common brick walls and family plots thanks Linda I'm glad you enjoy my productions I think this is for future cremains but look at this they got a big pond here I had little Jimmy come from downtown. 
Howard Hughes episode. Keep your eyes out for it. Yeah, you know what? This is not a family plot. This is for future cremains, and I'll bet it costs a lot of money to get in here. What do you think? Got the bucks? Patty, isn't this beautiful? Oh, just wait. I'm going to take you to the best parts. Some of the best parts. I'm going to take you to the best parts that I haven't shot. Because there's so much, you know, I, I, my Howard Hughes is, is literally, I've got to close this gate. My Howard Hughes is literally probably 40 minutes almost. Because, you know, he's got a, a heck of a story. I'm trying to close this gate here. Leave it as you found it. There we go. Walter, five bucks, thank you. Walter's watching every week. Thank you. Doc Holliday is not buried in Colorado. Sorry to disappoint you. I did all the research, Pat. Or not to disappoint you. I mean, you're just guessing. Thanks for the 20. You're in Chesh Cheshire, England. Depressing weather. Love the stories. Thank you. Thank you for the 20. Got to give a shout out there to Carol Carter, 550. Yeah, I did uh, three parts on Doc Holliday. We followed Doc Holliday from, gosh, what is it uh, in Colorado there? I can't remember, Glenwood Springs, which he was buried for a while until his dad came and got him. And then he took him back to Georgia, but he's not buried in Georgia. If you go and find a grave and you see Doc Holliday buried next to his dad, that is wrong. And I have found, I have found after doing a lot of research where Doc Holliday's uh, dad is buried. And that's gonna be a part four coming up as I go through Georgia. I really got into the Doc Holliday story on research because it made me mad that everyone thinks he's in Glenwood Springs and he's not. I mean, revisionist, this is another story of revisionist history and it just drives me nuts because it's about tourism and money. That kind of stuff really makes me angry. Thanks, Patty, for 20. I cannot stand when people, you know, cities or states try to do that for tourism, make claims on famous people. Oh, he lived. He didn't die. He grew up here. Is there another Howard Hughes movie being made? I don't know. Uh, they, they could make 10 movies about Howard Hughes, guys. Because, <laughs> you know, just going through his story and trying to keep this within a half hour was really hard for me. And, you know, I'm an aviator. And I love, you know, the whole pilot aspect to Howard Hughes. And, of course, the movie making and all the actresses that he was with. And then how eccentric he was. And then going through the committees with the, the Spruce Goose. You guys know about the Spruce Goose? So I talk about all of that stuff. And there's just so many facets. And then of course, how he just went turned into the recluse and his fingernails grew like this long and his hair and he was sitting naked in a chair watching movies for four months by himself, like the Twilight Zone. Anyway, I talk about all that stuff. Howard Hughes, wow. You could make 10 movies about him. Do I do a Little Rascals episode? Oh, your mom was a Little Rascal? No, I know my friend Whitdocs did a really great episode on that. Look at this. He found one of the fat kids. You know, they, got, they had to have, they had to have all the different strange kids. Quite a cast. Yeah, there are, I think he dated, oh, wait, Ginger Rogers, Betty Davis, Catherine Hepburn. They say Gene Turney, but he did not, he did not date Jane, uh, Gene Turney. He tried. And there's like 30 others. And they're all top, top actresses. Let's go up here. Let's see what's going on. Calvary Cemetery, Old Mission Maple Grove in Wichita. Okay. Gonzo. 
I am watching you from Gon oh, Gozo. <laughs> I thought it was Gonzo. All right. Let's go up this way. I didn't cover this. There's a cool mausoleum. There's a little mausoleum row here. We can check that out. My dogs are little rascals. Gene Harlow, yeah. That's a long list. Let's see, what else did I not see? Look at this tree, guys. Holy cow. Isn't this amazing? I'm glad we got some sunshine today. Yeah, I mentioned Catherine Hepburn already. She's just one of his conquests. And that's what it was with him. It was conquests. Jean Tierney did not, she lived a tough, she did not live a super happy life. The tree of life, yes. The tree of life. So I'm showing you stuff very near where I did the 4K. You're gonna see this right here. This is, this right here is probably the most epic part of the cemetery. And I'm gonna tell you, it's still ahead up this way. Look at this family plot, holy cow. Can you believe this? The Cooley family. Somebody look them up. Oil wells, what do you think? There's a lot of people, a lot of rich families here. A lot of money, a lot of oil money. A lot of oil money. Look at the palm tree, is this real? Yeah. It's not a, is that a palm tree? What is this? It's like a stunted palm tree. I'm sure it's a special, I'm sure there's a name for it. There's more cradles. Aren't those, aren't these family plots amazing? You're right. Yeah, he dated Jane Russell. Actually, Jane Russell was in his movie, you know, he was the director. His, one, his first big movie was Hell's Angels, and I talk about that in the airplanes. But he also made another, among other uh, movies about Billy the Kid, Pat Garrett, Doc Holliday, which is a riot, like they were all buddies called The Outlaw, and that's the one that Jane Russell was in. And that's where the, the cleavage, that was the first cleavage movie, and that was all about, oh no, that wasn't uh, The Outlaw. That was a different movie. Anyway, that, oh no, it was, it was The Outlaw. And the censors, he, the censors, they shut it down and he sued the censors and he won. And he got the movie. The, the way he wanted to do it. Yeah, I, 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 you know what? I haven't watched The Outlaw. I watched parts of it. I'll have to like sit down and watch it someday. Lexi loves cradle graves. Well, if you love cradle graves, this is the cradle capital of the world. Gary Cooper, I looked him up. I can't remember. I can't remember where he's buried. Emerald Kimmy saw it years ago. Anyone know if Ron has done Al Capone, Roxanne? Yes. I have visited Al Capone's uh, grave twice. You have to go to my Mount Carmel series. It's actually number one. And then I covered a drone in the winter. So yeah, I've been all the, a lot of the gangsters here look at this so this is the part i walk through right up here i don't know carol i'm just a history nut you know if you're passionate about something i just like i'm like a dog with a bone so i basically walked like through here so when you watch the howard episode right through the middle of this section you will see in brilliant 4k a lot of this stuff here and more. I'm going to give you a peek near where Howard Hughes is. Look at this obelisk. Yeah, Wyatt Earp is... Wait, did you actually know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. He was a consultant on a lot of movies. See, now, I'm a big Wyatt Earp nut, but I won't do his grave again because it's been done so many times on YouTube. I just can't get excited about going there. But yeah, I know he was a consultant. Tom Mix, he was friends with Tom Mix. All right, see this, 
this is the Michael, the Archangel I was talking about that has this really scary face. And I'm gonna, you're gonna have to wait. You're going to have to wait till the Howard Hughes episode to see it in full 4K up close and then get the creeps. How's that? Frank Nitti is buried just down a ways from Al Capone, literally a stone's throw away. It's Nitto, N-I-T-T-O. That's how his name was really spelled. Committed suicide, they say. Good chance of that if you really study the story. And there's somebody really creepy. Not cre <laughs> I shouldn't say creepy. There's someone really intriguing that is buried next to Frank Nitto, and that is his wife. I can't remember her name, but she has a whole story. That's a story I may do someday. It's kind of borderline for me. I wasn't... I wasn't super intrigued with it. Maybe in the summer when it's warm. But look her up on Find a Grave. Very interesting woman. I believe that was her wife. I, she had an interesting name too. That's right. If you watch my Exorcist episode on Michael the Archangel. Who's Larry Lovett? Why it's your great, great, great uncle? What lineage are you from? Who had kids? Morgan didn't have kids. Virgil, I think Virgil's the only one. And that guy, so are you related to the guy that was on the show, that old game show that was fixed? Thousand dollar question. You can look up Virgil Earp's grandson or son. Are you related to him? Because I went and visited the family of Wyatt Earp in Monmouth. I got manuscripts from them. I'm a Wyatt Earp nut, as I said. And there are no, there are no, it's just Virgil's line, pretty much it. So you must come from Virgil's, Virgil's side, right? Molly Hayward. Yeah, Ruth, this is probably, this is in my top five. I thought you guys would enjoy it. And I hope the picture's holding up on the definition because it's just crazy here. Hello, Vicki from Kentucky. Look at this, guys. Isn't this unbelievable? There's a Celtic cross that is more beautiful than most I've seen. Wyatt Earp's first wife is buried in penal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to hit uh, Maddie. You're talking about Maddie Blaylock? I'm going to do her grave someday. That's one I will do because I'm going to be right there in Arizona. Oh, there's 20 bucks from Teresa Hill. Thank you. Check out the angel statue at Lubbock. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Jay Morgan says, could spend all day in the cemetery. I'm with you. Oh, we got a little breeze coming through here. Hello from Joliet. Jacqueline Coit. How are you? Go this way. Got the wind picking up here, unfortunately. Got the wind with the cell phone. My camera handles, handles I've got my uh, cinematic camera. My whole rig handles the w wind really well, but the cell phone here, I don't use a GoPro. You have a setup with GoPro, that's not bad. But these cell phones do not do so good. And I know you can buy fuzzy mics and all that. They don't work. Take it from me. They help a little, but not much. Here's the back side. I did the front side of this walk here, but there is a statue that you get to see, but you don't get to see close up. And I really wanted to see it. And it's like a little boy angel holding like one of those lacrosse sticks, but I know it's not a lacrosse stick. So you guys will tell me what it is, okay? As we go around this bending oak. Is there oak trees you say? Now, by the way, that's this is a pine tree. That's a pine tree, and that is good 200-year-old pine tree. That is a good uh, 30 inches diameter. That's pretty big. It's, um, oh no, is it this one? No, no, it's not this one. This is just the angel. I gotta find this, where is it? 
It's right around here. Okay, now we're gonna go on a search mission. Hold on, guys. I gotta find out what this, what the deal is on this statue. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. They're like gardens and terraces everywhere here. All right, I'm keeping the camera on this side because I didn't shoot this side. Oh, where is it? It was like right here. Oh, I walked right, it was it. That was, sorry if I'm spinning around. That was it. That was it, hold on, we're going back to that. You guys, I'm really curious about this. I'm in Houston, Ruth. It says in the title, I think, Glenwood Cemetery. Yeah, this is it, hold on. All right, tell me what the deal is on this. Oh, this is a St. Michael, it says. So this is St. Michael the Archangel. I never, I never saw one that looks like this. And the reason I was saying that is when I was, I was afar, I was noticing this curve. And usually, oh, he is stepping on the serpent. Because St. Michael's statue always steps on the devil. Okay, so that's, it's a St. Michael. Okay, cool. I like that. Kind of a trumpet. Yeah, but it's got a, no, it's not a trumpet because it's got a, it's a spear. That's, you're thinking of Gabriel. Gabriel is the guy with the trumpet. Trumpets in the rise, the Christ, uh, the, the day the Christ is risen, right? Isn't that what that's all about? Oh, look who's here, Britain. Britain's here. Say hi to Britain, everybody. All right, now I'm gonna give you a teaser peek because you know what? You're not gonna be able to see it in 4K anyway. So this is kind of on my path of the 4K story of Howard Hughes that you will, we're gonna save that. What do you think, a Sunday night? We gotta do that on Sunday night. It's like almost 40 minutes. I'm gonna tell the Howard Hughes story. So Howard Hughes, is right there and by the way by the way his family plot is locked can't go in there but when i shot it there was some maintenance going on and it was open so we got the close-up look now right over here and I'm, we're not going to go this way i'm just going to tease you guys there is a giant marble lion and you could it's it says the beloved giant sleeps my beloved giant sleeps and you might be able to find that on find a grave and then just beyond that i'll give you a little closer look because i want to see the guy's name because you could look it up on find a grave there is a huge roman greek uh deal going on there see that so I gave you a little bit of a close-up. His name is Lester Harold Smith, the lion. Can you guys see that okay? I don't know how good, oh, stupid gimbal, hold on. There we go. So if you can look that up on Find a Grave, there we go. My beloved giant sleeps tonight, Lester Harold Smith. That would be cool if you guys could do that. Hey, Sarlis from San Antonio, how are you doing? What's going on? Angels everywhere, guys. Yeah, this, this is, like I said, in my top five cemeteries all time, the cemetery. Here's something interesting. Hudson. Oh, they have like handprints. Look at that. I don't think it's the guardian of that grave. She's saying that that's her, him. He's, he's sleeping. That's her husband. So look, they came here and they did handprints. The handprints are actually not just painted on there. And I'm not going to, you know what, I'll come over here. They're actually look like they're imprinted. Look at that, how cool is that? They're actually engraved. Let 
Now here's a beautiful statue. There's got to be a story with this one, guys. There has to be a story. Now this I did not, I'm showing you stuff I did not catch on the Howard Hughes story. I could only read it because I zoomed in. <laughs> now these are custom marble statues. Look at the detail work, will you? Oh, I wish I had my 4K camera. Look at the, look at that detail work there. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Just beautiful is right. It looks like mother and daughter or sisters. This one, this woman looks older. What a beautiful, I, and this is, whoops, hold on. My gimbal is acting up on me. Here we go. So we'll get it where she's looking right at you. Right about, right about there. Isn't that amazing? But I don't see any inscriptions on the stone. Let's check, oh, on this side maybe. Yeah, no? All right, guys, my curiosity is peaked. There's nothing. Oh, wait. I wonder what the deal is on that. Is that paint? This is a layer of paint? Oh, it's probably a repair. Yeah, this is marble. That's marble, so that is a repair. And you can see they're connected. But there's no inscription here, guys. We gotta find out who this is. Somebody left a Santa. Yeah, I'm at Glenwood. It's in the title. Houston. Houston, Texas, guys. Blanca's seven miles away. Cool, you'll have to come over and check this place out. It's pretty, pretty interesting. You know, I'm gonna go up the hill here. There's something intriguing up there. There's a foot, there is a foot at the end. It could be a name. All right, I'll take a quick look here. Where? Tell me where. I don't know. Usually the sculpture will sculptor will have their name on it, but oh wait, is there anything here? No. No, there's nothing. It's gonna be some someone here will find out who it is. One of you guys, come on. Let's go up here. You wanna go up the hill? Anonymous burial? I doubt it. I don't think so. Aren't these amazing, these family plots? Let's go this way. By the way, I have permission to be here. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Ambrose, who is, runs, the, he's the, the boss here. And before I shot my episodes, I got permission from the cemetery to live stream, to film. And I talk about him, it's kind of a funny story. Cool, cool dude, he's a cool dude. Mr. Ambrose, A-M-B-R-U-S, I believe is the spelling. He said, just get my spelling right. Now, if I got a spelling wrong, shoot me. Now, this is, this is amazing. Look at this, guys. Now, we've seen the angel, the weeping angel before, but not like this. It's not been done like this. Gloria passed in 2011. She's absolutely stunning. Stunning picture in traditional oval. Look at that. That picture I'm gonna tell you is probably taken in the 19, late 40s, early 50s. Probably, well, I say 50s. 
judging by the hairstyle and the photo itself. But this is, this is beautiful, huh? Yeah, Frank Troost, uh, Alice, Frank Troost makes them. He makes lots of them. Haven't been over here, gang. We're just on a, a little adventure here. See what we can find. Gloria L. Cheng, what's the backstory? Oh, look at this. Now, this is interesting. Norton. Carl, oh, Carl's still alive, so I don't want to shine it on Carl. But Shu Ling, I think it is. I'm gonna keep let me keep the camera over this way. Passed in 2011. She was born in 1963. So what happened, guys? What happened? That's a six-inch oval. Six-inch oval. See if you can look her up, anybody? On Ancestry. All right, so here's where we're at. So we came from way over there, and then we went all the way to the lake. And then we went down this away, and then Howard Hughes is over here. We shot that story, and then we've kind of angled our way up here. And I'm just doing a big circle, and I haven't walked this part. There's a huge family plot here I might have a quick look at some architecture with cornices. Cornices, let's take a look here. Looks like some stained glass inset. Don't see any names though. No, oh, there's a name on the marker. I'm not gonna walk around. I wanna go up this way. I'm gonna head this away. There's a lot of good sculptures here. Oh, here's the stained glass. So it's not inset, it's just stained glass. How's your weekend going, guys? Here's the, here's this. Hello, here's this. There's another oval picture up here. Lexi, it's not let's go, it's let's go. Julie Marie Moselle, passing 02. I don't know what's, again, very young. Not sure what happened. O2. Oh, look at this. This is one that's, this will give you an idea of what it's like when they're building it. Check this out, guys. They're building one. Hello, greeter. Good afternoon to you. Now, it looks like they're gonna have a fountain here. It's in the middle of construction. Yeah, Howard Hughes is gonna come out in about a month. Do I have a crew on these shoots? No, I do everything solo. I edit the drone, the shooting, everything. The only thing I get help on is Deb Ancestry and Alice and Ashley Facebook and moderating. Other than that, I do it all myself. And I really love to edit. I think editing besides shooting is my favorite part. It's, I, I, cause that's when you like dig up more research through pictures and things and you find even more out sometimes. Boy, this is really an intense little project. So now I'm pretty much, pretty much just me. 
on this stuff. Now, the other thing at this uh, Glen Glenwood Cemetery you're going to find, I don't see any, I see one in the distance, but there are a lot, and you probably saw them, a lot of markers that talk about the historical aspects of the person that is buried there. I'm going to head back this way through the little trees here, get into the more historic area. And there's a lot of history here at the cemetery. You can, you don't need your phone. You can walk and read. I don't want to walk through this family plot. We'll go between. Try not to walk through the plots, but sometimes, I mean, I don't, I don't know that it matters that much. Just try to be respectful. It's all in the intent. Here we got these trees again. Look at this. Who's barbecuing? David, where are you barbecuing at? South Carolina? Another family plot here. Are you going to do the large lost fleet of the forgotten mass grave? Uh, no, I don't have that on my list, but I'm gonna do the large lost people that died in the Galveston 1900 hurricane I did shoot that one at Old City, Old City Cemetery, tongue twister, Old City Cemetery in Galveston. I did shoot, how old is this tree? 400 years? Wow, it's gotta be old. It's about five, four and a half feet in diameter. Not circumference. What's this? Looks like lipstick by roses. I'm not touching it since you guys told me about the fentanyl. <laughs> Cut it down and count the rings. Yeah, let's do that. I am not touching stuff on the ground anymore at cemeteries. That dollar bill I found in San Antonio, I'm like, oh, look at this, a dollar bill and a rolled up. And everybody's telling me later, Ron, that's for snorting fentanyl or a fentanyl trap. Real nice. Ah, this gimbal acting up again. Yeah, here's some cool plots, more cradles. This is called a deep cradle. Why is it called a deep cradle? Well, it's, it's called a deep cradle because it's deeper than 12 inches. Once you pass the 12 inch depth, see my gimbal there? That's the shadow man. I hate the shadow man. Ugh, such a distraction. You'll notice in all my episodes, you will never see ever the shadow man, never. Yes, this is, um, I can tell this is a, this is definitely a deep cradle. Actually, I'm just kidding. I just made that up, but maybe I'll start a trend. Maybe we can redefine the cradles and categorize them. What do you guys think? It's okay to touch stuff, Wendy? Well, yeah, I think if you touch that kind of stuff, yeah, but not weird stuff that's laying on the ground, right? All right, let's see what we see down this way. And all the roads, look at this, all of the roads, they're all paved and they have this beautiful brickwork. That's all handmade, guys. Yeah, cradle graves need flowers. Now, if you wanna see flowers, I posted it a year or two ago, Jennifer Lewis and her sister Jennifer they managed two cradles and they really put some nice flowers in there. But again, I guess this is winter. Maybe in the summer you're going to see more Slender Man. What's Slender Man? You're talking about my episode? Yeah, does, John, doesn't this look like the yellow brick road? So, John, what's the deal with, what's the deal with Jack Nicholson? Are you like a Jack Nicholson fan? I, I've always wondered when I see your comments. Because I love Jack Nicholson, but what's the tie-in? What is the tie-in? Because I know you're not really Jack Nicholson. Maybe you are, but you wouldn't have that if you were. Although Britain's told me that some people in Hollywood watch us 
which I find, you know, actors and act, actors, I was like, really? Because he, you know, Britain's connected to the Hollywood set, more the horror set, but also others. Here's Johnny. Yeah, The Shining. That was, that was crazy, The Shining. All right, let's look over here. Let's see if we see anything. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, Ron. Yeah, but what's the tie-in? Did I miss it? Did you tell me? What's the tie-in? Why do you have his, why do you have his picture there for you? Are you just a fan? Why? I want to know. Tell me. Inquiring minds want to know. Armabus. Did I spell it right? Oh, Armabus? Crap. See, he told me, he told me, he said, as long as you get the spelling in mind, and I'm just going by memory, but I, I pronounced it right. I pronounced it right. Armabus. Because I did check with the staff in there before I left when I was here, I think it was Thursday. And I said, did I pronounce it right? And they said, yes. I don't want to offend him. He's such a good guy. And he's letting us do this because I don't know that you can do this here. I don't know that they want people, but maybe it's not a problem. I don't know. Jack Nicholson's mother was his aunt. Let's see, these people were born in West Virginia. She is not dead, but sleepeth. I haven't seen that one before. Is that a new one? Wait, John, we just saw some, John is weighing in. Just love watching this movie, so yeah, you could say I'm a big fan. They don't make them like, oh, they sure don't. Is he still alive? Is Jack Nicholson still alive? I'm pretty sure he is, right? Because he was going, he goes to all the LA games with Spike Lee. Oh, look at this over here. We're fine as, we're finding more stuff. Let's go over this way. Greeters in Huntington, West Virginia. Cool. I was in West Virginia with Britain three months ago, I think it was, doing the Mothman story. The Mothman. That's on the other channel. That was like an hour-long episode. And we found some crazy stuff there. That was pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. Oh, here comes the guy. He's gonna give me a hard time and I can tell him that Mr. Airbus. What? Yes. I am allowed. Mr. Airbus gave me permission. I have a letter from him. I don't have it with me, but you can call him. He's the older gentleman. I had a, I have permission from him. I'll, be, I'll, I'll hang around here, you call. Uh, Cecil would know. Cecil's a guard, yeah. I was hanging out with him too. No videos allowed here, guys, but we have. Yeah, that's Cecil, yeah. He did talk to this kind of tall, tall guy, yeah. Tall guy, tall guy. Am I good? Yeah, All right, thanks, man. No, no, I'm, you're doing your thing. Very cool. Thank you. Whoa. See, best to get permission. But <laughs> you can't always get permission because I have been thrown out before, but not today. Not today. I always have a surprise on my, you know, there's always some drama on every single, right? On most of my live streams, am I right? There's always some, something stupid or weird like when I left the camera and couldn't, that was a total space cadet in San Antonio. That was so, I did not plan that. And you guys, and then I went back to see the chat and you guys were all like, get the camera, get the camera. Of course I couldn't see that. And I'm like, oh my God, I am such a space. I'm a space cadet. What can I tell you sometimes? It does make it fun. And that's why it's always unscripted. Everything I do is unscripted because I want to take you guys along like you're with me. That's the whole fun of it. Boy, he was pretty, uh, I even said, you know what? He was pretty strict because I said, I've got, 
I said, I do have permission. And he's like, no, you don't. So they must be very strict here. It's cool though that he's doing his job. Thanks CW. Looking forward to your Louisiana stuff for the two bucks. And I saw your uh, emails. I, uh, you got a big list there. I've got it filed. I'm not gonna be able to go. I will not probably be able to do it on anything on this trip. I am totally booked. Stuff researched months in advance. You know, each story I spend many hours researching. So on the trip, it's really hard to pivot and just say, oh, I'm gonna do this story. You know, I don't just go to these graves and say, and just have this stuff in my head. I've got to cram. It's like cramming for an exam, guys. I've got to research it and then I've got to remember it because I'm not an encyclopedia. Okay, you know where we were interrupted here was this. I want to go, I want to see this over here. It's a beautiful relief of two women and we cannot, yeah, thanks CW, but I, I have really copious notes. I don't throw stuff away, so I will go through it at some point. If you send me find a grave links, anybody, uh, and CW, if you, if you can go back through this, just send me the uh, parallel them with find a grave links, because that's where my stories all, that's where my interest always starts. I got to start with where's the cemetery? What does it look like? And are they in fact buried there? Do we have a location? I'm not gonna step, I'm gonna step on the walls here. Ooh. But I wanna give you guys a step a little bit in here. Look at that. So one is holding the wreath and the other is penning something in a book. It's a priester, but there are no headstones here. But you know, there's probably a whole bunch, a whole bunch of uh, burials there. Yeah, if you get time, uh, CW, cool. If not, no problem. But it just makes it easier for me because I rely heavily on find a grave. Not for locations, though. Oh, those GPS positions. Guys, if you're going to put a GPS position on find a grave, oh, we got one to block here. We got a troll. Ashley, who's that? I'll remove it. Hide user. I think I got them. Alice got them. No, I, got a, I think I blocked them. I just... Yeah, they're, they're gone. Thank you, Alice. So what was I talking about? I'm just kind of scanning around here, seeing if I see anything unusual. Yeah, the blank graves are most likely graves most of the time. Cemeteries are pretty filled up. Just because there's no... In fact, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but I'm going to tell you like 30 to 40% of people are unmarked. And I would never have believed that. It's a very large number. I don't know what the percent... Maybe you could Google it. I don't know. That would be an interesting statistic to figure out. What's rent a cop? Why do you keep saying that? I have not. Uh, is, is this Super Bowl weekend, right? Yeah, I watched some. I'm more of a basketball guy. I, I'm more into basketball. Not, I'm not into football, and I'm not that much into. I used to be into baseball when I was younger, big time into baseball. Chicago White Sox fan, and even more a the Yankees. Love the Yankees. Annie F. Walker. Wonder what her story is. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. And it looks like they are having a blast. Is it in uh, Arizona, right? Is it Phoenix? Where they're having the Super Bowl? Looks like they are all having a blast there. And what's cool is the t two teams and all the players are hanging out together. I don't know if you used to see that. You don't want to go in court in Houston. Yeah, well, I got to tell you, I got a speeding ticket and I'm pretty upset about it here in Houston. And I'm a, I'm a supporter of the blue, but this police officer was a you know what. And I was on the highway coming from San Antonio and I was going the speed of traffic, which everybody was going 70 and a 60. And I'm just in, I happen to be in the left lane. And I was probably going a couple miles. I think I got it at 72. Anyway, 
I was I was like in traffic and I got a freaking ticket. And I said, please don't give me a ticket. And he goes, I'll be right back. And he came back in like 15 minutes and he just shoved the paper at me. And I go, this isn't right. And he basically almost, I don't want to say what he did, but he like turned his back on me. And he said something nasty. And I was like, the train. We got the train. Kimberly, we got the train. Yeah, and there are people driving 90 here. I know, in Houston. My two tickets are last year in Florida, near Tallahassee. I got a ticket there. And my other ticket is this. But I can get out of this one if I pay and I can get like a supervision, a 90 day probation, and it won't be on my record. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy about that. We have a historic marker. I'm sure I've passed many, but I'm not gonna pass this one. We'll just, it's potluck. I don't know who it is. Now these aren't like super famous people, but they're famous people here. Thanks, Lisa. Out of state plates, yeah, but it wasn't the plates. Well, maybe it was, I got Wisconsin plates. You know, I don't have Illinois plates anymore. You know, you know why I don't have Illinois plates? I know I'm moving to Wisconsin, but it was before that. No, no Illinois plates on my cars. Because, 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 because the wonderful, wonderful things she does. It is all about emissions and rules and regulations in Illinois. And I'm not gonna get into it, Illinois versus other states, but it's a pretty restrictive place. And my car did not meet emissions. And I'm talking about honey, um, Bumblebee. You know, my Hellcat, that's 900 horsepower Hellcat. I could, it's brand new, rebuilt, but it meets, it, so I had to get Wisconsin plates. So they can't even drive it. So, you know, I'm done with Illinois. I'm moving out of here anyway. So let's go see what this. Eugene Thomas Heiner, H-E-I-N-E-R. He was born in New York, German. And three years, uh, let's see, draftsman architect. And three years later, with the prize money he won, what did he win a prize for? I'm getting too far ahead. He was a draftsman architect for some famous guy. And he won, oh, he won a design competition. And he took that and he married some woman. They settled in Houston. Da, 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 da. Wait, major design for the, okay, so he's a famous architect. All kinds of architectural things, okay. Very cool. He died in 1901, so we're going back to we're going back to the old days here. Am I planning to come to Colorado again? I've been to Colorado. I've already shot stories there. Uh, Charles Manson victim, the family victim. I shot the story of Doc Holliday. But yeah, I'll be back someday. I'll be back there someday. I have to go back because that's where our daughter's cross is, where she was killed. So I'll always be back to Colorado. And when I go, I will do, I will do stories. Colorado's beautiful. Now this is Gothic, look at this. Rockford doesn't require it, interesting. Do you have to live in Rockford then? This is uh, Phil. W. Johnson, wife of oh, Phila. Uh, does that mean Philomena? She died in August of 1880, 43 years old. Gosh, you just wish you there were pictures of these people. Thanks, Ivan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, guys, we are. We have finished the loop here. I'm all the way back where I started. How long have we gone? 74 minutes. We did pretty good, don't you think? All right, thank you for hanging out. 
I'm going to be here till tomorrow. Then I am heading to Lafayette. A couple stories there and then to New Orleans. Next week I'll be in, be in New Orleans and I'll be doing Instagram almost every day. Little videos. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what's going on when I find cool stuff that I think. And then from there I'm going to be eastbound towards uh, southern Alabama and Florida. I'm going to hit northern Alabama on my way home. I think I'm going to hit North Carolina, little Atlanta, a few stories in Florida. And that's it. That's where we're at. Tomorrow night, uh, we've got a good episode on Carla Walker. It's back in uh, Dallas area. Actually, was it Fort Worth? I can't remember. I think it's Fort Worth. Very famous story, solved by DNA last year or two. And I got maybe I have a little bit of a different take on it. So it'll be tomorrow night in uh, Fort Worth. And everything's sequential from there. You know, so a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about on live streams or where I'm at is going to be a month to a month and a half even more behind when you get to see the episode. So the when I left Dallas, I headed towards towards West Texas. All right. So lots of stuff coming. I'm going to probably have 35, 30 to 35 episodes from this trip. So it'll be fun. All right. I won't catch you. Uh, no live stream tomorrow, of course. I'll catch you tomorrow night, though, at 8 p.m., okay? Hope to see you guys there. Great to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out.